You just learned about Midjourney, right? I mean, you know about no, Midjourney. No, I don't. But you I just... don't. I know of it. I understand it, I'm but lost. I don't know anything about what. Because have you been to the website? I got to sit back I and listen. I tried to do it. I know. Um, shout out Millicent. I know she's used it to like uh, make some like I think concepts or something. Is this for, Open for, AI or something. This is this is generative uh, generative AI, but with like images. Yeah. Okay. Is it free? It is free. It is free. It is free. So, mm-hmm. um, and it's got, with ads? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just and kidding. it's got some like I'm for the the so it's. I'm just going to read this. Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of human species. We are a small, self-funded team. I'm curious on the funding uh, on design, human infrastructure, and AI. They have um, basically opened this up. You can join the beta. They have all the documentation. It's kind of like the white papers are all there, and you just sign your name up. And you can go through. I, I am pretty impressed, dude. Like the the they got dudes from NASA from Apple. Is this strictly photos? Im- image-based. So yeah. okay. Image-based AI, mm-hmm. uh, generative AI. So it's like you you type in prompts, similar to ChatGPT, but it's like make uh, a photo or make an image of a woman uh, no, those are standing on a grassy green hill. Mm-hmm. And then to make it look like how you want it, you do like make a photo of a Asian-American woman with uh, shoulder-length hair dressed in clothing so like, of the style of this so the more specific you can get and like you can give it directives of like in the style of uh the clothing in the style of the gucci uh spring summer uh, where 2018 does the source material come from well that's the whole thing because it scrapes the internet mm. and um the yeah. whole like i guess the whole controversy is uh how it, it, it's it's the images and and uh well just the photographs and images that it's it's learning from it's taken from artists without their consent mm-hmm. and so like you'd say make like a a, a stencil in this in the Form style of, of banksy and then boom and like yeah he didn't consent to have or they or whoever it was like they didn't consent to having their uh art learned learned from in this like um, with this algorithm and it came out that um, I think there's a class action lawsuit against mm. them uh, and it's came out that I think it's 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 got to be more than that but it's like 40,000 artists that like their artwork has been taken from to like have this system learn from I mean just scrolling through that the the images that you can like see like this I know, like, I'm like, okay, I know an artist that looks like a lot like that, like that. You can tell, like, all of these are, and it's anywhere from like, pix, like a uh, Pixar style to photorealistic to yeah. like anything, like any sort of video game, like Pokemon movie posters. Like, you can, mi- it's extremely powerful. Like, it's scary powerful. <laughs> this shit's creepy to me because the dude who did this one's Benny eight eight eight. Now I'm gonna say that Benny's probably a guy. Just a guess. Two beautiful young Asian women. Like, and like this, that looks like you just st- stole two faces. And yeah, it looks like a photo. It looks straight up like a photo. Like, that's kind of creepy. You'd be just making, like, I guess, you fake. have to s- screenshot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah gotcha. I mean, well, I'm going to try. Maybe we can just do a video. A little scroll. scrolling. Yeah, and then have it. Well, if you do it and send it to me, the video. Yes. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. No, that's yes. crazy. But I mean, it's a it's a catch twenty two because when you're an artist, I guess once you sell your product, it's kind of open for. Whatever. Well, yeah, but they're not selling these images. It's like it could be on a website of their portfolio. No, and I know if like, they yeah. were to sell it, though. Like, say, if you sold it, and then yeah, I mean, like uh, as as any artist in a creative Sucks. endeavor, once you put your art into the world, you have no control over it. Yeah. But if um i guess this is like taking it to like an, an extreme. extreme it's like oh if you show it to anybody on if the internet exists. then it's if it's, it exists it's, it's it's open open game open yeah season so like especially for artists because you like you just hit it portfolio mm-hmm. like, like mm-hmm. that's kind of how you do your that's how you show your work you're not trying to sell that work or, or it's not trying to be ripped from you but this allows you to do it music's a bit different 
because there's rules. You can take anything, but if you're going to make money off it, that's where the conversation comes into play. Well, but, I feel like that's for art too, right? You could take whatever, but if you're making money. I suppose so, but this is melding. Yeah. It's like melding and molding. So I feel like it's probably easier to be like, hide the artist in like who you stole. You of get, course, you that's get, how they get away with it. Because yeah. they're like, well, we took fucking 30 small pieces. Exactly. <laughs> it's from all different people and we threw yeah, it together. You know? like, so it's yeah. Like, yeah. We're like, if music, if I sample it, I hear the sample. <laughs> you hear the sample. Like that's that's not that's, yours. That's a sample. That's a sample. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you. I really. I know you don't. Still don't think it. But AI is gonna mess up. Like I feel like a lot. Of- well, they have that already with like deep fakes, not just like the the sexual ones, but like there's just in uh, general doing it for like yeah. government politicians, officials mm-hmm. that are like making statements on mm-hmm. like. Didn't they say Mr. Beast had one about him? Did he? I think he said that there's a a deep fake of. Him doing an ad for some company he never did an ad for. Yeah, exactly. And it's like if, uh, some like uh, oh. other country like that. <coughs> it, it could they could use it. It's like bootlegging to the yeah. extreme. Yeah, he's like I've never done that ad. But yeah, that clearly looks like me. Think about. It, I wonder how much money and time and energy is going to be put into proving things that you aren't real, like going forward. Probably not because we don't care anyway. We watch everything scripted on YouTube and it's real you no know, no but i mean like you sign your name to oh. it like you know what i mean like if all of a sudden like cat williams is shouting out like you know i don't even know what well, we don't read contracts anyway so they'll take what they want i suppose i i just you know there's some or to your point like if it's a political thing like that's dangerous like that's like yeah. start war dangerous like you okay, know so in um you saw the newest or at least a couple episodes the newest season of black mirror on netflix <laughs> no, mm-hmm. I didn't know.